Go to your students tab because you can save new students that are currently showing in your planner. So click the drop down in B3 and you can select a student. So I'm gonna select Vivi's name and I wanna type her nickname in as Vivi. Any students you're wanting to track, you need to give them a nickname on the students tab, okay? This nickname column in column C should not be blank. And I'll put in um, just general info. You don't have to put any of this stuff in really. I mean, all you need to actually save are columns B and C. Um, this other stuff right here is all optional, okay? All right, so um, I'm just gonna put, <laughs> Dino is her favorite. <laughs> She's awesome, just any kind of note. And here is something that's a little bit more advanced, requires some working knowledge of Google Drive, but if you would like to see your student's face on your planner, then what you'll actually do is upload a, a photo or a screenshot from like your class playback or something, and you'll upload it to your Google Drive. So you would go to just like this, drive.google.com, and you would, I, I just have like a folder that I use on my Google Drive, it's, and I just called it student photos. And I can actually take the screenshot from my desktop and I can drag it into the folder. So once I drag it into the folder, it's gonna upload, and then I'll see that picture right there. You can optionally just right click on this right here by files, just right click and select upload files. So if you don't see it on your desktop to drag and drop, then you can uh, just do that whole right there by the files name, right click upload files. So I dragged uh, that picture right in there. So what I wanna do now is I wanna right click on the picture and select share. And when I do that, I'm gonna select get shareable link, okay? And when I do that, it's going to show me the photo link and I will just click copy link. And when I go back over to my planner, I will, I will hop over here. I'm not double clicking, I'm just selecting, I'm just selecting the cell and I'm hitting control V. And when I do that, it'll paste that photo link right there. And the last step is to click this button right here. It will add Vivi to your students list. And you can go in and do that for all of your students. Okay, last couple things to note. Number one, blue cells on the students tab are not editable. Do not double click and don't edit those. They are populated by a formula. And uh, on the this uh, last few columns, the, the previous rewards, previous notes, class count, all of that, you can't edit right here, but you can modify or make adjustments if you need to on your classes tab. That's where those uh, that information comes from. Also important to note, you can only edit the cells that I've outlined right here in green. So white cells are okay to type in, um, blue cells are not okay to type in. And last thing, if you look carefully over here at the uh, purple, like little purple circles. And um, this, these are little filter buttons, just like on the classes tab. So if you'd like to alphabetize your students, you can use those filter buttons as well. All right, I hope the students tab is helpful for, uh, for some of you guys who have a lot of bow bows and a lot of bow bays. All right, bye guys.